G'day, my name's Jonathan and I'm from Dawson Heating and Cooling. Today I'm going to give you a rundown on how to isolate your evaporative cooler ready for the winter months ahead. We generally recommend you do this around Anzac Day every year, which is a very easy way to remember. The reason being is from that date on, the colder weather is here, especially in Canberra and in similar colder climates, and the frosty mornings will start. The main reason we need to isolate all the water supply to your cooler is to stop the water in the plumbing lines and in the cooler from freezing during those cold mornings. What happens when the water freezes is it will actually expand and it will crack the plumbing pipes, the solenoid or other components in your cooler, causing unnecessary damage and potentially water leaks in your roof. So let's have a quick look now as to how you isolate your cooler ready for the winter months ahead. Okay, so this is a traditional setup of an evaporative cooler that's been installed on an existing home. This is the original tap that would have been on the wall, and as you can see, a T-piece has been put in to allow water supply via this valve that supplies water up to, the, um, to that pipe that runs up to the cooler that sits up on the roof. Now we know this valve here is in the on position because it's running parallel in line with the pipework. We need to close that by turning it 90 degrees. That's now shut the water supply off to that line. We then just need to open up that tap, which makes sure we drain all the water out of that line so that there's no water sitting in that line to freeze during winter. Okay, so just to summarize, before winter, we just need to make sure this valve is closed. As we can see there, it's in the closed position and this valve is opened. This valve here, that, or that tap there, that's always gonna be closed because that's the normal garden tap you normally use. So this is the position you need to leave it in prior to every single winter. Therefore, no water will be sitting around in the lines and it can't freeze and cause damaged pipes and damaged components. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.